This video is an overview of how to install your M3 UltraFast. Always refer to the appropriate technical documentation for the complete list of instructions, safety alerts, and sequence of procedures before conducting any service or maintenance operations. The primary concern of Midmark is that equipment is operated and maintained with the safety of the patient and staff in mind. To help assure safe and reliable operation, please be sure to read and understand the M3 UltraFast user's guide before attempting to install or operate the sterilizer. Ensure that the appropriate personnel are informed on the contents of the manual. Place the manual in a location near the sterilizer, or, if possible, permanently affix it to the sterilizer. Included with the M3 UltraFast automatic sterilizer purchase, you will find the M3 UltraFast unit, M3 user's guide, quick reference guide, and user training CD, filter change tool, train hose, external condensing tank and tubing, and a power cord. This illustration can be found in the M3 User's Guide. It provides critical information for installing the M3 UltraFast, including required clearances around the unit. These recommendations must be followed to ensure optimum performance of your autoclave. Support service materials should be water-resistant, for example, laminate, stainless steel, or stone. The surface must be level to ensure proper operation. Allow a 4-inch clearance from the front feet to the front of the support surface, 4 inches from the back of the unit to the back wall, and 2 inches on either side. If installing the unit beneath the cabinet, shelf, or overhang, a minimum clearance of 2 inches must be maintained above the unit. This is the minimum clearance for proper air circulation. However, be sure to allow access to the reservoir fill port located on top of the sterilizer. The M3 UltraFast is approved for indoor use only. The M3 is designed to operate in environments where the room temperature is between 68 and 104 degrees Fahrenheit with less than 80% relative humidity. The unit should be allowed to reach room temperature before operating. Failure to do so can result in damage. The M3 is available in either 115 volt or 230 volt AC configurations. It's critical that the voltages delivered to the unit be maintained between 104 and 127 volts AC for 115 volt models, and between 207 and 253 volts AC for the 230 volt models. In all cases, the maximum power consumption is approximately 1400 watts. The autoclave requires a dedicated electrical circuit and should not be connected to an electrical circuit with other appliances. In all cases, it's necessary to use a three prong grounded unit. To ensure the unit is properly grounded, it must be connected to a matching grounded and correctly polarized receptacle. The M3 UltraFast uses an external condensing tank to collect used water. During the vent phase, the steam condensate is converted back to water and collected in the external condensing tank. Before positioning the sterilizer, please be sure to connect the external condensing tank tubing and plug in the sensor plug. To connect the condensing tank, Push the tank tubing into the compression fitting on the lid and tighten the nut. Then, connect the tubing to the back of the sterilizer by pressing it firmly into the push connect fitting. Next, connect the sensor plug to the port on the back of the autoclave. Fill the tank with tap water to the minimum water level indicator line. Insert the lid assembly into the pitcher, align the tabs for correct positioning, and rotate clockwise to secure. Place the tank on a level surface no higher than the sterilized support surface. After ensuring proper electrical requirements, attach the electrical cord to the back of the autoclave and then into the wall socket. Turn the unit power switch to on. This message will then appear on the display. Maintain a minimum of six inches of clearance above the condensing tank for proper steam ventilation. If enclosed in a cabinet, the support surface and surrounding surfaces should be protected with a water-resistant material, such as plastic, laminate, or stainless steel. It's also recommended that the door be vented to avoid heat, moisture buildup, and potential damage to the inside of the cabinet. Now, you'll want to fill the reservoir with clean distilled water. It's very important that only distilled water be used. Since the autoclave operates with high water temperatures, any minerals dissolved in the water will form mineral deposits. Failure to use distilled water may result in excessive corrosion and may prevent the valves from operating properly. The use of distilled water will minimize or eliminate these problems. Pour the distilled water into the fill port. Do not fill above the lower lip of the fill port. 
please be sure to follow local regulatory guidelines regarding validation of this device before putting it into use. For more detailed information about installing your autoclave, please refer to the M3 User's Guide. For further support, contact Midmark Support Services at 1-800-MIDMARK.